Welcome back to Dancehall Spotlight, where we celebrate the trailblazers and legends of Jamaican dancehall music. In today's episode, we shine the spotlight on none other than the one and only Beanie Man. Join us as we take a captivating journey through the life and career of this iconic artist, from the very beginning to the present day. Please remember to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and also comment and share your views. Moses Anthony Davis, born the 22nd of August 1973, better known by his stage name Beanie Man, is a Jamaican dance hall DJ. Davis was born in the Waterhouse District of Kingston in 1973. He was involved in the music industry from a young age, started toasting at the age of five, and was encouraged by his uncle Sidney Knowles, who played drums for Jimmy Cliff. He won the Tasty Talent Contest in 1981, and radio DJ Barry G introduced him to local sound system operators, who helped to establish the popularity of the young DJ, who became known as Beanie Man. He recorded his debut single, Too Fancy, with record producer Henry Junjo Laws in 1981, with Laws also including him on the 1983 album Junjo Presents Two Big Sounds alongside established stars such as Dillinger, Fathead, and Ringo. His debut album, The Invincible Beanie Man, the 10-year-old DJ Wonder was produced by Bunny Lee and released in 1983, his first hit single following the same year with the Winston Holness produced Over the Sea. In 1984, Beanie Man recorded some material with Barrington Levy, released 10 years later, but his music career was put on hold while he finished school and spent time traveling to the United Kingdom, United Beanie States, Man continued and Canada, performing, and honed his craft beside the then-dominant dancehall figures including Ninjaman, Admiral Bailey, and Shaba Ranks. He found his artistic home at the Shocking Vibes studio, where he continued to record singles with only moderate success in the early 1990s. His career gained momentum after a performance at the Reggae Sunsplash Festival in 1992, and a rivalry with Bounty Killer began the following year, after Beanie Man was accused of stealing Bounty Killer's style and catchphrases. The rivalry was captured on the 1994 album Guns Out, with the two artists settling the feud with a sound clash. Beanie Man had his first number one single in Jamaica in 1993 with Matey, produced by Ephraim Barrett, Donovan and Dave Mills on the Shelley Power Records label, and he won the DJ of the Year Award the same year, the first of eight consecutive awards. In 1994, he was signed by Island Records and released the critically acclaimed album Blessed, which established his reputation internationally. In 1995, he toured the UK and joined up again with Barrington Levy to record an updated jungle version of Levy's Under Me Sensi. In 1995, Beanie Man collaborated with Dennis Brown and Tristan Palma to release Three Against War and Mad Cobra and Lieutenant Stitchy on Mad Cobra Meets Lieutenant Stitchy and Beanie Man. He also collaborated with Lady Saw on Healing, Sanchez on Refugee, and Michael Prophet on Gun and Bass, further establishing his reputation. He took another step up the ladder in 1996, releasing the seminal Maestro, produced by Patrick Roberts, and shot him to UK fame. During the period from the mid to late 1990s, Beanie Man dominated the Jamaican charts to the extent that he perhaps had a good claim to the crown of Dance Hall King, a title only bestowed previously on Yellow Man in the early 1980s. Beanie Man's first real break into the United States came in 1997. He heard an instrumental rhythm by an unknown producer named Jeremy Harding and demanded to add his voice to the rhythm. So this was the birth of his first international hit. He recorded Who Am I? and the single quickly went gold. It opened the doors for the world to see a new reggae star in the pages of Newsweek and other major media outlets. The same year, Beanie Man topped the Jamaican singles chart with seven different singles. Beanie Man appeared in the 1997 film Dance Hall Queen. In 1998, Beanie Man headlined Reggae Sunsplash and signed to Virgin Records to release albums in the United States. His first American offering was The Doctor, 1998. During the late 1990s, Beanie Man began his conquest of America with the hits Romy, Who Am I, and Girls Dem Sugar, which featured American R&B singer Maya. During this time, he received an impressive number of international music awards, including a MOBO Award for Best International Reggae Act in 1998, while remaining at the top of the local charts. In 2000, 
Beanie Man released Art and Life, which featured Arturo Sandoval and Wyclef Jean, the few G's, for which received a Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album. In the same year he co-produced, with Wyclef Jean, the debut album by actor Steven Seagal. Beanie Man, like many dancehall artists, is outspoken on a number of social issues, as exemplified by songs such as Steve Biko and Murderer. In 2002, he had a sizable hit with a duet with Janet Jackson called Feel It Boy. But his biggest break in America came in early 2004 with the release of a remix of Dude, featuring guest vocals by fellow Jamaican Miss Thing, as well as rhymes by Shauna. He thus cemented his fan base on both sides of the Atlantic. He had hits in the UK in 1998 with Who Am I at number 10, in 2003 with Street Life at number 13, and Feel It Boy in UK at number 9, a duet with Janet Jackson, and in 2004 with Dude at number 7, and King of the Dance Hall at number 14. Also in 2004, the Associated Press observed that Beanie Man had become a name brand artist worldwide and called him king of the dancehall reggae scene. He was also a judge for the 6th Annual Independent Music Awards to support independent artists' careers. In April 2008, it was announced that Beanie Man was to co-write and star in the film Kingston. In October 2010, Beanie Man came out with the EP I'm Drinking Rum and Red Bull, which included four songs, I'm Drinking Rum and Red Bull, I'm OK, and two versions of Stack and Pile. He later released the full album on the 28th of February, 2011. Im Drinking Rum and Red Bull features Future Fambo. In September 2008, Beanie Man was cleared of charges of tax evasion. In April 2009, Beanie Man signed with Brooklyn Entertainment, a new record label formed by Eric Nix and the Trackmasters, in preparation to release his new album, The Legend Returns, the music video for the release of his new single, Gimme Gimme being shot in Canada on the 18th of April, 2009. The song Let's Go was released on the Overproof Rhythm compilation album in 2011. In 2014, Beanie Man and long-term rival Bounty Killer put aside their differences and recorded a single together, Legendary. The two performed a well-received Verzu's battle together on Instagram during the COVID-19 pandemic quarantine on the 23rd of May, 2020. Around that time, Vibe described them as two of the most legendary icons in dancehall.